Hey everybody, welcome to the most boring unboxings in the universe. I'm Tom Vassell, and we're taking a look at stuff that comes in to the Dice Tower each week. This week we have what? Dog Park New Tricks. Thought you can't teach new tricks to an old dog, but apparently you can. Alrighty. We have more dogs in here too, I bet. Cool. A large large box here so let's uh get this open here jumping in on the sides and let's take a look all right we have the new unlock extraordinary adventures restart hollywood confidential and Waff's odyssey huh all right and then we have Patatrap Quest. I don't know a lot about this one, but it looks like a fun game for kids, and it's from the new Space Cow. Then we have Portals. This is definitely one of the nicest um, box covers I've ever seen. Really like how this one looks. Looks very much like some sort of abstract game here. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Oh, wait, it's Dominic Day? Isn't that based on a comic? Huh. All right, now we have this one with a bunch of red tape. So let's cut the red tape. Ah, 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 ah. And see what the game is that we have here. Once again, it's a mass, a mass of bubble tape, a bubble wrap. What is it? Going through, wow, oh my word. All right. They didn't need to put this one in a box. It would have definitely made it. So you can see it's from Korean Board Games. Woo! You're almost free. The last vestige of bubble wrap on this side. Well, it's in Korean, the name, so I can't. So this here is uh, copy box. Copy box. Copy box. Huh, what is this? Well, definitely want to check it out. Another big box here. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Wood hex, metal keys. Ah, it's the beautiful Sky Rise. A lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to trying this one out from Roxley. Of course, if Roxley does a game, and this is a remake of a game, the old game Metropolis, I believe. So, yeah. All those 3D pieces. Well, this box says on the outside that it is a stand, but I feel like it's not, because I didn't order one of those. I feel like someone put a game in here instead. But let's find out. It definitely looks like a game. Ten tricks. Oh, well, I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like some sort of. Um, oh, there's another box in the box. But ten tricks. This definitely looks like some sort of Tetris style game. Unless it's a trick taking game. Definitely on the Tetris side of things. Whew, shrink wrap is very very. Very wrapping. All right, let's uh, get out of the way here so we can see a little bit better because this is obscuring our view. There we go. Well, this looks a lot like Fitz, but tabletop games this year, 2054. Tabletop games have been replaced by interneural games. What? No, that's 30 years from now. I'll be 
77. I'm kidding. I'll be dead. But, hmm. All right. Let's take a look at what's in this small little box here. Ah. It's the next Kinfire. Kinfire's Delve Scorns Stockade. Cool. All right. Let's take a look at what's in here. Ah, donut shop. Well, I can't complain about a donut shop, that's for sure. Oh, those donuts look good. No, Tom, no donuts for you. Yeah, looks fun. This one, like, has a box stuck on a box. I'm actually not sure how to open this one. Ah, that is how you open it. Open that secret side panel. What could it be? Oh, it's mm, it's the new version of La Chita and Alex Randall's Pig Game. I haven't played that in a long time. I'm trying to remember the name of that game. And give me the treasure. All right, I'll give you the treasure. Wait, what the bug? <laughs> All right, give me the treasure. I reviewed this ages ago. What was this called? Balancing Pigs or something like that. It might say it on the side somewhere. Oh, Russell Bond was the, was the uh, English name of it, well, which is German. And then La Chita. Wow. Oh, this is work in progress? Well, that's weird. Ah, giant box here. All right, looks like a bunch of stuff from Capstone, I think, here. We have Tangram City. We have Anunnaki. We have Rats of Wistar. We have Orleans the Plague. And we have something I didn't think was a, to be expected, a Juicy Fruits expansion. Then an advertisement for Wandering Towers of the Seal of Excellence. Yeah, I get it. All right. Well, I know what's in this box because it says it on the side. But let's open it up and show everyone. What did we get? A piece of white paper. But, oh my word. This might be too big. It is Slay the Spire, the collector's edition. So the original edition fit. Oh my word, did you guys hear that thud? This is a heavy game. Cooperative deck building adventure. Well, I love Slay the Spire. I'm very curious how this will work as a board game, but we will see. Well, there you go, folks. Another week of the Dice Tower. Most boring unboxings on the planet Earth. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Glad you could join us. Check out our reviews and else on the Dice Tower. Hey folks, thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you like our videos, if you like our channel, you would love to game with us at one of our conventions. Check out Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower East, and Dice Tower West. Fantastic conventions where we play games with wonderful people, a humongous library, and lots of other events and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our channel, like and subscribe. I'm Tom Bassel.